taping. Hi guys, welcome to What's Cooking San Diego. So today I have sort of an interesting cooking show because Ron went to Costco yesterday and you know Costco's not that cheap anymore. He came home with the bill and he was like, I think I bought $400 worth of chicken. Anyway, I don't know how much chicken this was. Was this like two breasts or four breasts? You don't know. Anyway, when he started making um, smaller, thin pieces of chicken, like small little fillets, it turned into this much chicken and turned into this much chicken. So the recipe today is chicken for 26 people. I'm kidding, but that's a lot of chicken. So I made this much for dinner and it's just, you just cut the filet in like, well, he trimmed it for me. You cut it in half and you come up with the thinner pieces, which are called what? What are they called? Cutlets. Cutlets. You come up with cutlets. So I cooked three cutlets for dinner and I'm just going to put them over here. What I did, and you don't have to follow me, I, uh, we have this grill, which when I want to keep something warm, I don't have a cooking, uh, I mean a warming drawer. I have a refrigerator drawer that's full of dog food. Um, I use the grill and it works really well. So super easy. You just get the 26 people chicken, you make cutlets, and then you are going to have just three things. And you know what else I did? I went on AI today because I'm fascinated. And I said, what do I do with a whole lot of chicken cutlets? Um, and I want to do them with fresh vegetables on the side. And it went bip, 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 bip. And it gave me this idea, which is not like a real fancy idea, but it was really cool. So if you like AI, it comes up with recipes. So it just basically said three bowls of all-purpose flour, a beaten egg, and my favorite, one of my favorite things in life is panko breadcrumbs. Instead of the regular ones, this makes everything crispy. You saw those other chicken cutlets. And then you just put the cutlet in flour. I mean, I could do it, but I'm sure you all know how to do it. Put the cutlet in flour, like this, like this, like this, and then you put it in egg, and I know you're all laughing because everybody knows how to do this, and then you put it in panko, and I'm not going to put more panko in because I'm not going to show you how to fry a cutlet. So you literally just saute them in olive oil in a big pan. Um, until the one side is brown and crispy, and the other side is brown and crispy, and there's no time, you just watch it. You know, cook by taste, cook by watching. So those are the cutlets, and then, hang on, let me get the junk off my finger. What AI suggested, here's this, all this chicken, this dog is gonna be in heaven. Uh, good thing he has no chicken allergy. So, it suggested sauteed fresh vegetables. So I did zucchini, red onion, red pepper, garlic, and then- You're too close I, to me. I'm too close to you? Am I farther away now? Yeah, unless, you want, unless not, you want your head cut off. Oh no, I don't want my head cut off. This is a team effort, folks. And then I grilled Actually, I roasted some sweet potatoes and roasted a few tomatoes. So isn't it this like the yummiest, healthiest dinner you've ever seen? Um, and there'll be plenty for leftovers for us and for the dog. So if you get really, really bored of your cutlet, another item for Costco is this Rose homemade um, marinara sauce. And I know I make my own sauces a lot, but this is really good sauce and I've tasted a lot. So you can always take your cutlet, put a little sauce on it, 
put a little mozzarella cheese on it. We all know what mozzarella looks like. Mozzarella cheese. Put it in the oven for about five minutes and you have chicken parmesan. Voila! So that is my hot tips for the night. And I'm so excited to have somebody to shoot me, and even though he cut my head off. Um, so it's Gloria Gillette, Cobalt Banker Del Mar. San Diego Coastal Homes is my website, and Homes and Cooking has its own little site. And the recipe will be up in a few days. Okay, thank you so much, and press that magic button.